We're back with another tournament recap and this time let's take a look at a CPT event in South America. Starting off with some top 16 winners quarter final action, we've got Chaos going against Darlin. With how dominant Chaos was looking in this set, the last thing Darlin would have wanted to happen was to drop his own combos. But unfortunately, that was exactly what he did, increasing the ad player's momentum even more until he could catch up to him no longer. Yeah, side switch combo? Yeah! Wow. Damn! Okay. I see why you went with this though. Bruh, is he dead? I think oh, he's dead. Oh, the oh, no. on a pixel. Ridiculous right there. Chaos. Definitely the optimal stuff, but Darlon's going to have an opportunity here. Especially oh, no. with the low. Oh, it was a good start, but gloved up a little bit. Chaos is going to pull out the first game. Oh, no, but he just got caught slipping a little bit right there. Mad damage to Akuma again. Now we got the corner. Catches him being antsy on Wake Up. Now we got the stun. Oh, so oh. close. Well, it ends up working out anyway for Chaos. He's going to take it in a pretty quick 2 to 0. Qualifying for top 8 winner side tomorrow. After losing to Chaos, Darlin would head down to the second round of top 16 losers, who would then eliminate Kusaw to qualify for top 8, alongside Kenshiro, whom he would also defeat, and Frozen, who would do the same to Rodrigo. Then, up in winners, Shaka 22 will be going against Young Ho, and Duki will be facing Chaos. Through his fearless wake-up normals and constant frame trap pressure, Dookie would lead the set 2-0. But in the third game, Chaos would finally get a sense of Dookie's rhythm and catch his attempts at dashing in and poking from mid-screen to secure a game for himself. It's not oh, wow! Ooh. Sudden interruption, the 3 came out to play. Oh, actually traded on that as well, put a little bit more damage on him. You still can't go nowhere. Plus frames, and that's why Chaos is backing up. Uh, Chaos would love to act I don't know if he's going to get a chance. No! Too far. These, look, his mobility has actually been amazing as Bison. He's been outside of ranges so consistently. Y'all want to see? Oh my goodness. And we've seen that multiple times now where he winds up for the V-Skill and gets interrupted with Crouch Medium Game. Not letting him start any type of game. Again, taking the cornerback for himself. Psycho Blast after that. The jab just staying so solid with the pressure. Chaos is a chance though. Nah. Never mind. I lied to all of you. Okay, the challenge comes. We are seeing a lot more effective challenges. Dude, he's still there with his own challenges though. Yeah. Follow up, and this time Chaos looks for it. Rush counter. Yeah, Kazuki trying to start up, but another drop combo. That's big drops from Chaos. Oh, oh no! Wow, that got real wild at the end. Chaos could have killed, then Dookie could have killed. No EX bar on either side now. Shimmy attempt unsuccessful. Dookie trying to get some range back. Looking for the slide and the Psycho Crusher. Chaos almost with the punish. AD by Dookie, he's in trouble. Oh my goodness, the jump back. Try to switch up on him, he does hit. V ship to get away. Oh, and Dookie takes the 3 1 on the Psycho Crusher trade. With Dookie advancing through, it was now Shaka and Young Ho's turn to fight for the right to face the Bison player in the winner's final. Just like Dookie in the previous set, Shaka would take a quick 2 0 lead, but this time through a mix of long ranged pokes and a few mix ups added in. But in game 3, Young Ho would use his meter a little more efficiently, using it on his EX bull head and bull horn to armor through Shaka's pokes to get inside and get a game for himself. Okay, now my man's is littering. Let's go. <laughs> Still there. Yes. Oh, no, that's so dangerous. Universal off. Wants to get that space back. So that V-Trigger 2 ready. Good defense, but just as I say that, cracks. Ah, and the jump. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy, that was heavy fireball. All right, sorry, heavy uh, flame. It is pressure. And that stun's in trouble. Stun's in big trouble. Could be overhead low for the stun. Oh, nice, cool, calm, and collected punish from Shaka right there. Soda. And it absorbs the slide. Big move from Young Ho. Yep, nice jumping. escape. Not too bad. <gasps> Ooh. The Shaka's in trouble. Timings. Nice. It's the crouch jab. Keeping it nice and meaty right there. Tried to punish on the landing, but just short. Hmm, I think he was looking for that. I think that's what the Fierce was about, but Shaka got the uh, the win on that interaction. <laughs> Prioritizing answer <laughs> here, I love it. Definitely in that situation. Will he take the trade? Oh, and the last second reacts. And not only did he react, jump out of it, but punishing 
by hitting the jump medium kick on the way out. Very well done from Shaka. After losing to Shaka, Young Ho would head down to the loser's bracket, where he would then eliminate Darlin to advance forward, but would then lose to Frozen afterwards. Frozen would then reach loser's final to face Shaka. Although he came in with a solid plan of using Kage's empowered V skill 1 to get in, it seems like it just wouldn't be enough to crack Shaka's defense, despite using Frozen's tried and true Nash in game 2. But in the next two games, after Shaka has taken a 2 0 lead, Frozen would get two straight wins of his own by putting him and his opponent in quite a scrappy situation. Oh, he actually got the sweep afterwards. Teleports out as well. He's gonna get the corner because of that. Frozen trying to wait. Look at this, but Shaka is doing such a good job being disciplined about the teleport out. Again. Ah, and the stand fierce. Check it that back throw into the coin, but my goodness, he just caught both chops to the face. Yeah, you gotta hang out there. I gotta respect that. Look at this frozen pressuring. Shock, I cannot believe he got that tech. Overhead low, neither. Oh, oh stable end for Shaka. Could have risked it on a low, on an overhead, and he just didn't need to do it. Yeah, for sure. It just it locks him out of that viewer that he's been relying so much on, right? And they, you know, we saw the stand jab. That was a throwback anti for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Ah, okay, frozen on the board right there. Definitely some better reads up close by Frozen. And here he comes. Outside of it, he's up close. I can't he teleported. Right, what a risk to take. No, he ends it up. All of a sudden, pressure focused play. Bro, the, both of them are. Oh, I was gonna say the chip was around the corner for both sides, but frozen. No V reversal there. There was a couple of guaranteed spots to get out. Yeah, yeah you can see he's really holding on to that V trigger now. He wanted the activate off the crouch slide. And chose not to even combo. This is gonna be frozen. CA's on deck, this should be it. Frozen again, hits three to two on a three game comeback over Shaka. Completes his run back from top 16 winner side. What an epic way to turn the tables. After eliminating Shaka, Frozen would proceed to the grand final to face Dukian to determine the CPT event's online champion. Oh, we out of there, but gets cut off at the blast. The air to air rising jab from Duki right there. V break, oh, V shift the V break. Punish, yes. Oh, it's scrambling. He's got another V meter there. Oh, oh what an it's here, frozen clutch. Oh, I'm chased down with the hell attack. Super smart. And he holds on to that trigger as well. Still got the grab. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a punish yeah. because he's so close. Mm -hmm. EX gonna put him on life support here. We're gonna do overhead. Oh, instead just walks out, gets the throw bait successfully, hook, line, and seeker. 2-0 lead to start the first set of grand finals. And the blast though, just weathering the storm. Not much of a mix up there from that space. Nah, oh, jump back, jab, which had a couple of times from Fuji this time, finally successful. Oh, yeah. on that fireball. Oh, tricky. Oh. Tricky combo. Yo! Oh, he chased him down. He gets the counter hit. Oh, yeah. He's gonna stay oh, yeah. Here's down. the aggression. Go check on the dash. The plus one. Trying to keep it nice and tight with the frame trap. Oh, but you shift in a back dash. Get me out of dodge, please. Ah, oh, and he catches a reach, but no big punish. The crouch jab will finish the first set off. Frozen 3 1, and we're all knotted up here in grand finals. He's got all sorts of wild mobility options. I love that early jump button right there to stuff the jump back jab. Very smart adjustment from Frozen. Does get double up on. I thought he was going to get chased down and punished, but doesn't get caught flinching here. Still not flinching just yet. So that trigger is out. Just, oh, to the other side. He gets a punish. And Dookie, game number one. But Dookie's approach here has to. Boy, look at this. Bottom. I don't know. I think he's alive because of the uh, scaling. Yeah. Yes, indeed. He has a chance to take a 2 0 leaf, blocks the overhead, gets the punish, activation. As long as he doesn't drop it here, it is the end. Oh, he does, though. Goes for a simpler combo, gets the ankle breaker that he's looking for, and takes a 2 0 lead. Still holding on a trigger here is Duki. He's not. I don't think he's going reversal a single one of those VX missiles. Yeah. They're leaving intent with holding on to his V meter a lot of the time. There we go, we find ourselves in the same spot, and thought he would bet on the throw, he does it, and wow, actually avoiding the scissor kick and punishing it. Oh, he cuts him off with the pass here, that's big damage. Frozen got CA on deck as well, next hit will be it. 
Yeah, it's a funky setup. He's tried that a couple of times, but it doesn't look like he's plus at him. Getting the bar. Frozen just maybe hoping to deny activation. He uh, jumps way away, way far away from where he can easily activate. That was so well played. That frame kill definitely caught him off guard right there. He didn't know what to do about it. Doesn't get the stun off this back throw. The combo is going to be very close in terms of death. EX afterwards, not going to be enough here. Puts him on life support. That Psycho Blast gets cleared. The stomp is also blocked. Tried to catch the chase down, but didn't get it. And the throw does it. Doogie off the activation. Keeps it nice and simple. The strike throw game at the end of the day is what it's all about. And Dookie finds the last hit he needs. So that's it for this Capcom Pro Tour event in South America. Congratulations to Dookie for the win. If you enjoy what I do, don't forget to show your support by leaving a like, sharing it with your friends, and by subscribing so you won't miss out the latest game from my channel. That's it for me for now. Until next time.